Grandma's Piano by Grace McLean. Why is Grandma coming to live with us? said Alice. Because she's very old, said Mum. She needs someone to look after her. Will you help me do that? Yes, Alice said. There were some things Alice didn't like when Grandma came to live with them. She didn't like Grandma's scary stick. She didn't like Grandma's papery skin. Or the pills she had to take. She didn't like it when Grandma was ill. And she really didn't like sharing a room with her little brother. But Alice did like it when Grandma played the piano. And when Grandma came to live with them, her piano came too. A piano almost as old as Grandma herself. Grandma could play loud music. Music to march to. And music to twirl to. Sometimes she and Alice play together. summer evenings, when the garden door stood open, Grandma played till the dusk came creeping. Alice liked that best of all. One day the piano was silent. Where's Grandma? said Alice. Grandma died in the night, said Mum. She was very old, remember. When she was missing Grandma most, Alice curled up beside the piano and breathed in its polished smell. But she didn't want anyone to play it. When Mum suggested she have piano lessons, she shook her head. Alice dreamt about Grandma. In dreams, she and Grandma did things they had always done. And things that they hadn't. But one thing Grandma never did in Alice's dreams was play the piano. Then one night, 
Alice dreamt she heard music. She followed it. Her heart was pounding as she reached the sitting room. There, warm and real, was Grandma. Alice leaned her head against Grandma and watched her hands dance across the keys. Alice didn't know how long she had been sitting there beside Grandma, when suddenly she stared. Her own hands were following Grandma's, playing the other half of the tune. heard Grandma call her name. Then the night was quiet once more, and she was in her own bed. Alice thought and thought about her dream. I'd like to have piano lessons, she said next morning. And from then on, she had a lesson with Mr Shang every Tuesday afternoon after school. she practiced scales and arpeggios and broken chords. A few years later, Alice found some of Grandma's sheet music. She rushed downstairs to the piano. Her hands trembled as she turned the page. When Alice played, it was as if Grandma was beside her again. She was all around, in the air and in the notes, and inside her, welling up into the music. Then Alice knew 
she would never lose Grandma again. She would come back. <laughs>